Hey everyone, if you haven't joined Robinhood yet, consider doing so through my affiliate link down below. With Robinhood, you're able to trade stocks and cryptocurrency with zero commission. So if you're just starting out with stocks, definitely consider using Robinhood. Hey everyone, I'm Mark and today I'm going to be showing you guys my updated Robinhood portfolio. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the trades that I've been doing and some future plans that I have for the portfolio as a whole. Hey everyone. I'm Mark and today I'm going to be showing you guys my updated Robinhood portfolio. I'm going to be showing you guys the trades that I've currently made and some of the future positions that I'm going to be holding. So starting off, if we go ahead and look at my charts, I've had this portfolio for about a month. I started off with $15, bought some Bitcoin, and then I went up about $1.50 and then I put in another $10. So right now I'm at like $26.51, up about 6%, which is pretty nice. So I'm going to go ahead and show you inside the cryptocurrency page here. It actually does look pretty cool. I, li I like the cryptocurrency page a lot. But if we go ahead and look at the month, this is basically what happened. So I ended up buying around 67 around here. And it just recently bumped up to 7400, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm not exactly sure the reason for the Bitcoin price hike. But um, some of these articles down here seem to be telling you uh, maybe some tether coin manipulation. Uh, I don't know. I'm definitely going to be researching that myself. And you definitely should too if you're into Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies. But yeah, I went ahead and sold. I was up about 11% on my Bitcoin holdings, which when you have about $15 in Bitcoin, it doesn't really make a huge difference. I was only up like $1.50 basically. So if we go ahead and look at the watch list, I will be looking at Bitcoin over the near future. Um, I was planning on just buying it as it dipped, but um, you know, it went up a little bit and I decided, you know what, 11%, it's perfectly fine. No one ever went broke by just taking their gains. So I'm gonna be looking at Bitcoin, seeing if there are any other major dips. Um, on the side, I do have a lot of stocks that I'm currently looking at. I only have one ETF actually over here. This is VO. This is the mid cap index fund that Vanguard has. It is the Vanguard mid cap ETF. Um, the main reason for this is because the majority of my portfolio will be in large cap stocks. I definitely need mid cap in my portfolio a lot more. Uh, mid cap is that one kind of like sweet area in between small and large that has like the most potential to have growth. Um, so if we go and look in here, I want to try and get a portfolio where I get one dividend per month. So um, right now I was thinking about getting something like um, something like a southern company that's a regulated utility company, maybe MMM, Johnson & Johnson looks really good. And then also uh, Unilever also looks pretty good. I've been thinking, I've been looking at these guys and they look pretty good. Uh, they're another multinational consumer good company. They're kind of like Procter & Gamble, except they have like different, uh, different brands like Ben & Jerry's and they have stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. Definitely, definitely we'll be looking into them. But I think the first stock I'll end up buying on here is Southern Company. They have a dividend of about $2.40 per year, which is pretty cool. Definitely going to be looking into getting some starting yield in this portfolio. So I can go ahead and just start getting some dividends in. Anyway, guys, that was a look at my Robinhood portfolio after one month. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, feel free to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all on the next video.